my three expert tips how to burn belly fat fast. Now tip number one has to do with sun exposure. And did you know that natural sunlight exposure can help to shrink fat cells? Now in this study, it was found that UV light, and it's interesting because it was sort of found by happenstance when they were researching diabetes at the Alberta Diabetes Institute. And the main researcher also sort of interesting, his name Peter Light, studying light, was examining the effect of sunlight on the subcutaneous fat cells, and this is known as our white fat cells that are usually found right beneath our skin surface. This white fat is known as sort of the bad fat because it stores our calories, but this is again can be linked to, if we have too much of it, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Now it was found by accident in working on diabetes that when the these white fat cells were exposed to UV light and that UV light we know is usually in the middle of the day and it's higher in that concentration of those blue wavelengths from the natural sunlight. This is when they found that those blue light wavelengths, the light that we can see with our eyes, penetrated the skin and was able to reach those fat cells just beneath the skin surface. The lipid droplets reduced in size and were released out of the cell. So what does that mean? The natural sunlight exposure, especially UV, when they tell us not to go out in the sun is when we should be out in the sun, of course, and doing this in a safe way to be able to minimize our fat. Yes, it is possible and it has been found in the research. So this is why I'm all about natural sunlight exposure. Whenever you can, you got to get yourself out in that natural sunlight and of course exposing as much skin as possible. Now we also know that light and the dark cycles of the day have a lot to do with balancing our circadian rhythms. And this has a lot to do with how much body fat we're holding on to as this ties into having artificial light exposure as well. So talking about blue light from the sun and blue light from our device is, is very different. So we know that blue light from our devices is an artificial light, as well as those light bulbs that we have in our homes now, the energy efficient light, is much less healthy for our body and in terms of gaining weight because that blue light is telling our brain that it is that midday when the UV is the highest and yet we are getting these mixed messages, especially when we put that blue light on and we're on our devices after the sun has set. Now the brain signaling for our proper metabolism and sleep is all messed up and of course this is going to affect our metabolism in general and our ability to burn off that fat. As well as our EMF exposure, another part of our daily lives in our modern world that of course is messing up our metabolism and is related to that belly fat. Now my second tip here is tying into those light and dark cycles and our circadian rhythms, but it has to do with fixing our leptin resistance. So you do have to fix that leptin resistance. If you don't know what that is, make sure you check out my other videos with my tips there. But some of the tips that I do share for fixing that leptin signaling in the brain and leptin is something that our fat cells give that signal to the brain as to speed up our metabolism to either hold on to more fat which most of us don't want or to burn off that excess fat that we don't need. So some of my tips here for fixing that leptin is to make sure that you stop eating after the sun has set. That's really important for your circadian rhythms and for your proper melatonin secretion, for your thyroid function, as well as your sleeping. Another tip is to eat a high protein breakfast, focusing on healthy proteins and healthy fats for breakfast. If you do need to eat carbohydrates, they should be a little bit earlier in the day as well, probably with your breakfast so that you can burn them off throughout the day and using cold therapy to your benefit to help with your leptin signaling as well. And my third tip to burn that belly fat fast is to eat foods in season. So depending on where you live, if you live closer to the equator, you can get away with eating the sweeter fruits, the mangoes, the papaya, because you've got the sunlight and your circadian rhythms of that season, which is, you know, pretty steady all year round close to the equator to be able to metabolize those carbohydrates. However, if you don't live close to the equator and you do have the four seasons as I do here in Canada, you've got to really think about eating what would grow in the time, in the season in which you're in to be able to metabolize those foods. So eating locally grown, if you grow it yourself is always best, but eating organic, of course, and eating locally grown available food to you in your environment is always going to be the best for that belly fat. Now for tips on how to get safe sun exposure, please check out my video three tips for safe sun exposure. I'll see you there.